you know, just be if the pole swing, yes, I'm going to just, I'm going to put this out there. Hey, yo, if you're sensitive, don't watch this video. There you go. <laughs> if the pole swings, I don't know what redo of a healer is. Don't watch it. Um, if the pole swings, why did you do that video? Because y'all requested it. That's the self-explanatory. I requested it, so I don't want to hear nothing. All right, so remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. Okay. Via request. Via request in the building. Hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we are going to be revisiting the redo of Healer, the Cheeks Chronicle. I'll be a resident black friend, talk through the whole entire thing. So. So, let's get into it. All right. Uh, is anybody in the house? Let me just look around real quick. Yo. Yo, yo. Anybody in here? I'm alone. Okay. All right. Let me go in the room. Okay. Hold on. Let me just check the closet just in case. And under my bed just to. Okay. All right. Anybody in here? Okay. 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 Close the door. Now. All right. Let me get on this website. Foranime.com. Okay. Redo of Healer. Okay. All right, I'm on episode two. Now, I know they said this is weird, but this don't make me weird, right? I'm not weird. I'm not, all right, let me see what's going on. Like, all right, I see Flair. Okay, what is he? Yo, what? Oh my God. Nigga, what? Did he just smack her in the face with his dick? Yo, what the? Oh my God. Yo, yo, yo Sin, what the? Yo, Dweeb. Dweeb, what's good? Dweeb, what's good, man? What's popping, bro? You are never nah, nah, f all that, bro. F that. Bro, ain't no, ain't no dweeb. What's good, dweeb? What's poppin'? No, I don't want to hear none of that, bro. What is this, bro? Listen, dweeb, let me explain, bro. I'm just telling you, wrong place, wrong time, wrong place, wrong time. Look, I've seen the RDC videos. I've seen, you feel me, videos where people don't watch the anime at the wrong time, bro. They don't walk in at the wrong time. I get that. But th this is, this is inexcusable. I know I saw what I saw. Listen, bro, listen, you did see what you saw, bro. I'm, I'm going to be honest. You seen what you seen. I'm, I'm going to come all the way clean, bro. But I'm going to need you to overlook it this time, bro. I, I mean, you like the animes that you like. I'm not going to pass judgment on the animes that you like. But um, this anime is what I would say. It is an acquired taste. I have to do this video and now oh you're gonna blame this on the video oh i have to do a video <laughs> don't ask me to react this is this don't ask me to react to this for my animation uh, for my anime series don't ask because i ain't doing it how coincidental right how convenient that you have to do a video where there are naked women and there are panties and a bunch of sex okay that makes a lot of sense you're watching it die whoa <laughs> listen this isn't hentai, is it hentai? I don't know. All right, all right, look, man, just, can you just like, maybe just hear me out? Said I can hear out a lot of things, bro. Like the fact that your air forces are creased and they're a little dirty, I can overlook that. Who the fuck still wears air forces? Look, dog, I don't judge, okay? I don't judge. I wear combat boots and leggings, so I'm not the fashion con like connoisseur, but I didn't know people still rocked Air Forces. I, my bad. The fact that you're a little musty, it's cool. You feel me? Like, I, I, I ain't know. And that one time I had COVID, that was like two weeks of relief for me. You feel me? I couldn't smell anything, and I, and I didn't have to smell your stinky ass every day, and that's fine. All right, first off, I'm going to need you to chill, bro, because what do you have on your feet right now, bro? I ain't going to lie. I look like you got some some shacks on. Looks like your free throw is terrible right now. I'm, I'm going to need you to calm down before I really start sparking you. All right, so there ain't no need for all that. I know you be really getting serious with the roast, but listen, listen. I'm going to hear you out, bro. I'm going to listen to this video, and, and you're going to tell me why... I shouldn't call the feds on you, bro, because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm, 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 I'm gonna come all the way clean. <sighs> all right, man, let me let me try to explain this. Bro, I can't even believe I just got caught by this. All right, all right, all right, all right, man. If y'all can, you know, hear the intro when you hear me and Dweeb's conversation, I get it. I know y'all are probably judging me right now. I need y'all to do me a favor, man. Hey, man, man hey, hey, if I'm down bad, if I'm down horrendous, Hit that like button. I ain't gonna lie. Each like equals how down horrendous I am. You feel me? Uh, run this up, man. I ain't gonna hold you, man. We, we might have to get this to 100,000 likes or something, yo. Like, the way that watching this show has made me feel like I'm not myself. I don't feel like myself right now. Don't, don't, don't think like, oh, Shay, 
if we get this to 100,000 likes, I would praise God and I would still not watch that shit. I'm just going to be honest and serious. If we get this to 100,000 likes, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm still not going to watch it. No, I'm not. You know what? If we get this to a million likes, <laughs> I, I nope, nope. Jesus is telling me, no, it's not worth it, Lord. I have evolved into something. I have devolved. I am underneath a Neanderthal right now. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I should be in the Flintstones right now. I, I watched this and it changed me as a person, man. Today we are here to talk about redo of healer and oh my god this man kearuga kearuga i don't know for the rest of the video we're calling him cheeks aruga bro cheeks aruga is a demon bro when i tell you that there's black air forces there's black tims nah 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 this nigga, he has something else on bro i don't know i, I don't know if they shacks k-swiss I, I don't know what he got on the chucks i do not know bro this nigga got black jesus sandals no 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 black satan sandals this nigga is a demon this nigga is I have not seen somebody wear K Swiss in a long time. I, I be like, I be like a Tino Shade, but I have not seen somebody wear K Swiss in a long time. Are they still around? It's the devil himself. Oh my God, bro. Hey, hey, sit back, strap in. This is gonna be a wild video. I, I, I'm gonna have to center a lot of things, a lot of Please words. Do. Just understand that because uh, uh, me not getting this age restricted is gonna take a gift from the God above. <laughs> That is a prayer to you, God. Please do not let this video get age restricted, bro. Please, God, please. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as soon as this whole thing starts off, bro, we get like a flashback that is going to be like a future thing. Like it, like it's the future, but it's a flashback. It, it's it's weird how they did it. Anyways, this man Cheeks Aruga, I'm going to call him Cheeks for short, bro. This man is standing in here with this fire poker, bro. Like one of them things you poke like the firewood in the fireplace and stuff. And there's this naked girl with pink hair laying here. And I'm just sitting there like, hmm, what is he about to, what are you about to do with the fire? Fire poker. I am not gonna lie, bro. At first, I thought he was about to stick that thing in no man's land, and I was like, yo, calm down. But that's neither near or there, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The first thing we see this nigga do after this, bro, is he goes to this lake, bro. We gonna call it Lake Acuity, like from Pokemon. You see this elf flying out, and I'm like, okay, nigga, is that Puck from motherfucking Berserk? And like, well, what's going on here? And then this nigga becomes like loose, bro. They put a shot and gun, run and gun, Gios, whatever. The, I don't know what you wanna call it. They put this thing in this man's eyeball. It I still, I look, dog. I still not down with the kissing and the eyeball thing. I, 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 look, I'm not shaming. Yes, I am. Uh, animes be trying their hardest to to give. Like I know, I know, I know, I know. DC Comics and um, you know. And Marvel Comics, you know, they get dropped in acid. They get bit by something. Something goes wrong. I know that gets cliche, but please, I just don't understand what the whole kissing, the whole eye kissing thing. It's it's just weird. I'm sorry. This eye is OP, bro. This nigga can look at people and tell who they are, what their name is, their abilities, how strong they are. How easy it is for him to uh, R-word them. Now, uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? No. Oh, look. How easy it is for him to <laughs> R-word them? Now, uh, th th this word, this R-word, uh, for us not to get age-restricted, we know uh, what it we're is. going to have to be very careful about how we describe it. So instead of saying it straight up, which I won't do because I am definitely afraid of YouTube and their system of things, and I don't want kids to watch this and get the wrong idea, so I'm going to say a word that rhymes with it, but it's spelled differently. Uh, so instead of saying, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to say great, great. Like G R E A T, great. great. Every time I say great, I am saying the R word. And I want you guys to understand that moving forward. And, and that's neither near there. Let's get it in, bro. So we see the three heroes, right? We got a sword hero, a gun hero, a, a magician hero, magic, magician. I don't know, bro. And we got a, a, a there's four of them. My, my bad. A, a, and the healer hero, you feel me? Which is Cheeks Ruga. You feel me? Kia Ruga. You feel me? Now, this man is with them and they're fighting this demon king, which, why? Every time I watch some sort of like a uh, high fantasy anime, there's some sort of demon lord or, or some super scary monster. I don't know, bro. This bitch, though. 
Well, I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, I like, I had a, the same point that I had on the last video, but I'll bring up a different point. Like, you have to have hierarchies in in societies and everything else. But my last point still stands. Why is it everybody's job to go mess with people? Like, what did this person do to you? Like. Like nobody ever tells me like, uh, like, oh, this is a part of the journey. Like, is the demon king doing something like harmful to you? Like, I know demon is in his name, but was he just the demon king and just chilling, you know, just chilling in, at his house? Like, and then you came and bothered him or was he actively doing something? Nobody ever explains that part. Especially when it comes to this anime and but I don't want to do any further research. This is my last video on this I ain't gonna lie. She was kind of bad. You feel me? I'm gonna come on away clean from they're, they're fighting this bitch. She pulls up in this Megazord. This bitch got the demon Megazord like where did you get this from? She in this big-ass demon machine. I'm like, how are they gonna beat this? This bitch is in the devil Gundam right now. Like, yeah, like somebody get them some help So they end up, you know, getting healed and overcoming this Thing. But what happens at the end is, and this is like the prequel to like the story. Remember when bro got the Gias? Well, I'm gonna explain what happened. But he ends up turning against everybody and punishing them. I mean, he's doing them badly. And then he ends up defeating the Demon King. But she says something to him that makes him be like, hmm, what was she talking about? And then the true story starts. So basically, what? this healer hero, he can heal people. And well, what, what did she say? What did she say? Why did we skip over that part? Why you act like that part? What 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 was the deepness of that part? Like she said something that would be integral to the story. Did she just not say what it was? Did it, did it do that fade thing where she just start whispering and he's like aha? Or did she say it and you forgot to tell it? Bro, I'm I'm not trying to do any investigations on this, bro. Instantaneously by being like, heal, heal, heal. I'm gonna sound like Donald Duck on Kingdom Hearts. Heal, heal. Like, bro, that, that, that's basically how his powers work, but it hurts him every time. It deteriorates his body to uplift others' bodies. You feel me? He be passing out and all that. He be feeling like shit. So they needed him to be able to heal indefinitely. And they had the idea of basically getting a drug and making him be able to keep healing. But it also would have him highly addicted. They, they basically injected him with the smack, with the dog food. And they had this dude out here feeding. This man out here scratching his neck. He's down bad. Now, at the end of that whole Demon King fight, uh, after we learned that this man was a drug addict and they did all this stuff to him, bro, they, they terrorized him, by the way. I'm going to go into great detail with that. Uh, we end up finding this like Philosopher's Stone after he defeats the Demon King. And I'm like, are we in FMAB? That's what I was about to say. Does everybody have a Philosopher's Stone? Look, dog, I'm going to be honest and serious. Everybody has a Philosopher's Stone. Everybody has something named Le Le Leviathan. Like, like, can we get different words? Is that, is, is that, is that the dictionary? has is is immaculate it's huge same as a thesaurus can we just use use the word instead of philosopher's stone i don't know hold up auntie yeah. what's another word for philosopher for philosopher she's smart Like, 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 so what's another word for philosophy? Theory. Okay. The oh. I'll go with theory. Call it the theory stone. Okay. There you go. We, we just solved it. Okay. That Scooby-Doo mystery. We already solved it. Okay. It's call it a theory stone. Cause I'm, I'm so sick and tired of having the same philosophy stone and everything It's in every movie, uh, and everything. Now y'all may be like, Oh Shay, I think, I think, I think you capping. No, it's in as above. So below it's in that scary movie too. This is three times. Three times already. I, I already gave you three examples. Call it something else. We're going to call it a theory, a theory stone for now on. Okay.
Or just Edward Elric? Like, or, like they just gonna copy Philosopher's Stones and they gonna copy Geass's? Is this a, a Full Metal Alchemist Geass? Like, what, what the f is going on? Geass. Geass? Yeah. Oh, that's the that's the anime that was talking crap about Death Note. No, it's still gonna be Geass then. Anyways, that, that doesn't matter, bro. This man has redid his life, bro. He used his powers to end the Philosopher's Stone to redo the world. Basically, he uh, undid everything that happened and started from the beginning to get revenge. And that is the premise and plot line of this entire anime. This uh, did all of that just to get revenge. But when you find out what they did to him leading up to this, you would probably want revenge too. I, I, I'm gonna come all the way clean. Now, I ain't gonna hold you. Flair got them yamins. You feel me? And, and by yamins, you know what I mean, yamin. You feel me? She got them, them slobber knockers on them. I ain't gonna lie, bro. She got them type of... You Never touch... Well, see, that poison song said never trust a big butt and a smile but i mean like anime i think the big butt is up here never trust big boobs and a smile and a smile she's gonna make her smile that girl is poison <laughs> You feel me, bro? It's like two hot air balloons. Like she got two drift blims in her blouse. Like, bro, what if somebody hit her teeth with a bite pump? God damn. Now I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Being a hero has its perks, and this is where we first get to see a lot of the sex that happened in this show. You feel me? Now this man cheeks Ruga, Kaya Ruga, yo, bro. This man had bitches on a rotary phone. This man, bitch, bitch, bitch. Every day, bro. This man had all the bitches, bro. They was running orgies on this. And then I found out it's because his seminal fluid has healing properties, bro. That's going to come into play, and that's important to the story as well. Don't forget that. That, see, <laughs> nope. We we already committed. We're going to finish this video. See, that's another thing. It's just like this, this, like hearing it again, this just sounds like, and I know this is a retelling of, of the anime, but this is just sounding like, oh man, oh, I ordered a pizza, but I don't have my wallet and a pizza man is here. Like, this, that's what it's sounding like to me. But uh, anyways, when they find out that this nigga couldn't heal without the drug and stuff, this is like, you remember I told you and explained that they explained it to us before, but this is how it happened. So Flair realizes nigga couldn't heal but he was too scary because it was hurting him she called him trash and this is when we find out that this so happy so nice princess flair is really a princess she's a bitch. so she ends up manipulating him and drugging him with some tea and puts this in a dungeon now I I i'm gonna come all the way clean bro this is when i realized that this his revenge was valid bro but this is just the start so he wakes up and there's this dude in here this like weapons master guy i forgot this his name he got blonde hair or brown hair i don't remember the name it really doesn't matter he spits on this as soon as he wakes up he's you're trash i can't believe you're I ain't gonna lie. first of all if you spit on me i'm gonna murder you bro and they're just Facts. spitting on this dude while he's tied up in a dungeon Facts. i said what is going on like i ain't gonna lie i look like one of them them, them hub specials you feel me like one of them torture chamber type joints you feel me some weird nigga would watch on the dark web or something i ain't gonna come all the way clean now day after day bro they had this begging for the drugs they got him addicted to and then at night time after they were done feeding him and injecting him with these drugs they were grading him you remember what i told told you our word is great they were grading this day and night for his seminal fluids grading him over and over again they traumatized and broke this nigga down bro they broke this nigga down into more pieces than a tetris game i'm not even gonna lie to you bro they destroyed this nigga. they were stepping on his nuts they were stepping on his head they were violating him and then healing over and over again but something that they didn't think about is that this nigga, over time was going to build up a resistance he's a healer are you guys slow are you remedial how are you going to keep giving a healer drugs over and over again and not think that he's going to build up a resistance it is a high fantasy life that y'all live in this is an rpg nigga, bro this man is basically in dungeons and dragons right now you keep hitting somebody with something over and over and over again in any type of isekai any type of high fantasy thing they're going to overcome the drugs or the poison toxic whatever this nigga built up a resistance to these drugs drugs bro oh my god bro I, i'm gonna come all the way clean bro i mean if he built a resistance to the drugs i mean like wasn't wasn't the drugs helping him heal because it of the pain so he built up resistance of the drugs so wouldn't it be better if he this is just a shit it, 
stack. I don't know. I don't know. Now, as he had this resistance, you know, since he redid his life and everything, he knew the resistance was coming and he played the part until the guards were away. And then this used his healing abilities as he awakened to escape his cell. And then he turned in to the weapons master guy, turned the weapons master guy into him. Remember that that's important. This is a literal genius. This is like the rated X Eisen. So he finally takes her to her room because, oh, we're in danger because we lost the guy. We're in danger. And it was him all along, bro. This took her magic, bro. And he started talking heavy. And I mean heavy. I'm talking 10 tons. Like, bro, you know that big ass anvil that he used in like Looney Tunes? Just, I'm talking that heavy, bro. Started talking spicy to her, bro. <sighs> My God, was talking so heavy to her about everything that she did, bro. And then he started breaking her fingers and was like, we're going to play a game. He said, if I can break all your fingers without you screaming in pain, then I'll let you go. And I said, oh, okay. So she just got to suffice some pain. So he's breaking her fingers. <laughs> one after another and i'm like okay she might actually be able to survive this and then when he got to the last finger you know what he did this is a demon bro this healed her fingers and started over did he cheat oh he did bro but he really didn't oh. though if you really think about it he didn't say he couldn't use his abilities you got to get through all the fingers but you ain't never going to get a chance to because i'm gonna keep healing him and breaking them over and over again i said oh my god bro and then this is the infamous scene where it happened bro this man hit her with the deadly Wedley. He smacked her in the face with a pickle with his glizzy. Bro, turned her to a glizzy goblin, bro. Put the imprint of his pee pee on her face. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. She's really pushing pee now, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. After this, bro, he graded her. He graded her like she graded him. Graded her over and over again. I'm like, oh my God, this is a demon. So after this, bro, after he grates her, he erases her memory so he could keep her as a slave and keep on his revenge he turned her into a mindless puppet and was like oh yeah now your name is freya and and, and, and i saved you and we're friends and you love me bro he gaslit her but like actually did it with an ability <sighs> Somebody please stop this nigga. So then he goes to buy a slave, bro. So he goes in, bro, and we get this little flashback. We get a flashback of like Flair was doing to him, but also the gun hero and you know the sword hero. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It, it, it was kinda it was kinda bad, bro. This nigga Flair made this nigga eat her cookie coo up. After he ate the cooey, she stomped on this man's penis. Bro, she A Town stomped his dick. Bro, blue coop, blue coop, blue coop. Bro, she emasculated this nigga, bro. And then after that, bro, put the drugs on this man's weenus. His whip on his the pickle. What is made going on? Get him suck his own dick. He had to suck his own dick for the drug. Oh my God, bro. I cannot even believe that this happened. Bro, she go outside and sh I'm like, okay, can't get any worse. Hold then the sword not even I kiss the drug. Did I miss a part? Look like Flair was doing to him. Somebody please stop this nigga. So then he goes to buy a slave, bro. So okay. he goes in, bro. And we get this little flashback. We okay, flashback this is a like flashback. Flair was doing to him, but also the gun hero and, okay. you know, the sword hero. I was trying to figure it out. I'm not going to lie, bro. It, it, it was kind of, it was kind of bad, bro. This nigga Flair made this nigga eat her cookie coo up. After he ate the cooey, she stomped on this man's penis. Bro, she A-Town stomped his dick, bro. Blue coop, blue coop, blue coop. Bro, she emasculated this nigga, bro. And then after that, bro, put the drugs on this man's weenus, his wickle, his pickle, and made him suck his own dick. He had to suck his own dick for the drug. Oh my God, bro. I cannot even believe that this happened. Bro, she go outside and sh I'm like, okay, can't get any worse. Then the sword hero finds out what he's did, beats him up. But then he's like, oh man, you got to, you know, eat the cooey cooey of flair. And it started making out with him and playing with his own. I said, yo. Dude, just call this, just call this, just call this something else, dog. This, this is an, bruh, bruh. I got, I got new people that's watching anime, dog. I got new people that's watching anime and y'all and you recommended this dog they, this is this is not a fair representation of anime i just want to throw that out there uh this is a more of a less of something else so let me just put that there and call it a day oh and then i'm like okay it can't possibly get any worse and then he runs into the gun hero bro the dude with the, the big gun and the glasses and he gets graded in the tent he graded this Bro, he had this man, bro. He was like, oh, you're my pretty boy and all of that holding on to him. I'm like, oh, nah. It's different.
different. That shit was disgusting. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. So after this, the glasses never graded him. You feel me? And then choked him out, bro. And I'm like, bro, this is like an X-rated shield hero at this point. So then he goes to go get the slave, like I said, bro. And he ends up getting this ice wolf bitch. This bitch called Setsuna. You feel me? She got hit, beat up, all types of shit. Bro, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come all the way clean. Now, the problem with Setsuna is she's just a weak bitch, bro. You know, and and, and and he saw this and manipulated it. He's like, oh, what she's just heck? super weak, so um. I'm gonna just take advantage of what she wants to do, and that's get, you know, revenge on humans that did this to her. And I'm like, y'all heard I said humans? <laughs> that, that Maryland jumped out of Baltimore. He felt what? Like saying. So anyways, at this point, bro, he ends up telling her, like, look, man, let me take a hold of your future. Or, you know, you should start taking a hold of your future. And as he's saying this, his glizzy is levitating over her face take a hold of your future and she started slobbing up this healing fluid bro started eating the seminal fluids out of this nigga's python his anaconda bro started what? all over this thing i'm like oh my god she's getting stronger from this nigga semen bro i don't even know how this is happening bro but drinking it gives you strength somehow i don't even i know how this is happening D dude dude i'm gonna i'm not even you know what i'm not even gonna put this i'm not even bless you i'm not even gonna put this on males okay i'm not gonna put this on males at all i'm not gonna put it on males at all what i am gonna put it on is bruh you just need bruh just just call it what it is and we'll call it a day all right Call it what it is and we'll call it a day. We don't have to keep going back and forth about 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 the justifications here. That's what is that a third is that a So what so what what we can call this what we could call this is like we can just call this what it is, okay? We could call this that we could call this just this is not this is not anime this is put up this ain't mainstream anime i don't even think this is regular anime we just gonna call this what it is and call it a call it a day i'm not i'm not even going we not even gonna keep going back and forth with this okay this is not a great representation of anime maybe hey you know what if you like it you like it if you love it you love it this is not this is not a shade too sweet thing that i'm gonna say with that one but what i am gonna say is that is it evolved that's just involved and it went over all the way over there that just evolved way over there so i'm just gonna put that out there and call it a day So, okay, so as I, as I was saying before, what, what we're going to just call this is just like, uh, we're just going to call this just like, uh, anime. Uh, we're just going to, we're not going to call it anime. We're just going to call it the age word and call it a day. Um, Hey, if you found the story more riveting, uh, leave your comments down below. Cause I bet people would love to lo love to hear the, the back and forth, but cause I'm just in shock. Bro. And he started killing her, bro. I'm like, yo, you just let this happen to you? Her power rising as he's pulverizing her. You <laughs> get it, power rising, pulverizing. I ain't gonna lie, yo. Basically, he be just having a lot of sex, bro. That's why I be calling him Cheeks Ruger, bro. And the more sex you have, you feel me, the stronger she was getting, bro. I, I don't know how it works, bro, but it is what it is, bro. So they pull up on the humans that did what they did, bro. And they started beating the Ice Wolf clan up. Now, they're tight at this point. My nigga Cheeks Ruger run up, slice them in half, torso and heads completely up. <laughs> He be teleporting through niggas and making a mince meat. Flare started dropping meteors. This bitch looking like Fuji Tord out here. I'm like, God damn. This bitch that's soon fighting like a Sonic character. She. 
knocking coins out of niggas bro so anyway she goes up you feel me into this like pool and there's this you know poison and sasuna's like no heal the poison in the lake because i want to kill the humans i don't want the poison to do it and i'm like yo she's a demon too she said i'm gonna take matters into my own hands not no poison ends up healing the poison and then he cracks her again bro hits them cheeks bro cheeks ruga is at it again this nigga pulled her i'm up the tail like tanuki mode in super mario brothers 3 i said bro this nigga got a power up i ain't gonna lie bro put her to sleep bro and then pet her bro this nigga put her to sleep and then pet <sighs> i ain't gonna lie bro now when we get in episode 5 bro the whole episode starts off with a threesome i'm like bro what the hell this nigga switching positions between flair and my and sasuna i'm like god damn so they just call it hentai Okay, I've been, I've been, I've been going around all around the damn bush about it and everything else. Just call it hentai and call it a fucking day. Like literally, 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 literally. What is she? What is she? An evolved furry? What? What? What did you want me to get from this? I am already invested into this video, so I'm already going to complete it. But I just want to know. You know who you are. Who? What did you want me to get from this? Okay. But they end up going at this point to the people they sold potions to before and they end up trying to jump my nigga cheeks ruger you feel me for his potion recipe and and cheeks ruger he was like i ain't gonna lie they call me cheeks for a reason i'm about to clap y'all you feel me but, they, but he was like look man i ain't gonna kill y'all bro just give me 500 gold and i'll give you the recipe so they end up doing this and after this they run into korea now korea is like a weapon swords master type joint i ain't gonna lie they start scrapping she was doing her thing right i ain't gonna lie she cut this nigga's arm off and i'm like yo she's actually different because this is different but he regenerated it immediately and then he grabs her face and made her see terrible shit. bro he grabs her face bro it looked like randy orton's theme song started playing because she was like i hear voices in my head bro he made her see some terrible atrocities now after he punishes her bro takes her back to the crib they get to talking and all that and Look. somehow manipulates her for the cheeks this is hitting everybody's cheeks so he hits her in the bedroom i'm like oh my god and whole time she start bleeding bro she started bleeding bro in the bed because i mean she's a virgin you feel me i'm like oh my god this guy here virgin's like they had her bleeding bro i can't even believe this nigga bro I don't... anyways bro but when we find out later on you remember that sword master dude or weapons master i picked this outfit before I picked this out a bit before I before that happened, so I don't die. Yep. Whatever the f the dude that be fighting and sh I forgot the nigga's name, bro. But but you remember he made you know that nigga look like Kiruga, Cheeks Ruga. You feel me? So uh, he still looks like this nigga, bro. And he hates this nigga Kiruga so much, bro, that he's in the mirror and he's mad at himself. He's upset at what he looks like, and he burns his own eye out because he's so mad that he looks like this nigga. He hates Kiruga, bro. Oh my god, nigga ended up looking like Zuko from Avatar. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. So we end up running into like the the sword dude or whatever the guy. You feel me? And he has a bunch. Of of niggas great him bro a bunch of these like barbarian type dudes that he gave this potion to great this nigga, bro like severely bro because of what he did to anna bro we couldn't save anna unfortunately rest in peace you feel me i ain't gonna lie big up Anna. you feel me but i mean it is neither near or there anyway so he goes home he's mad as hell and takes his frustrations out on setsuna and flair bro beats the cheeks once again bro i'm like oh my god nobody can stop this thing bro and then we get the first glimpse of somebody that might be able to stop this nigga. no princess norn the only person to see through this bro there's a flashback where she sees through that this is not on no drug resistance anymore and i'm just like oh what is she an aa meter leader like how do you know that he's not on drugs this motherfucker, bro like, like how do you look at somebody and you're like oh you're not a fiend that doesn't even make sense she's like oh you're not even on drugs anymore i don't know why you're lying but i'm gonna keep your secret as long as you do what you've been doing to flare to me i'm like what do you mean what? by that <sighs> And then Norn had this to eat her cuckoo too. My cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. They be doing this dirty, bro. It, it, it is what it is, bro. But after this, we cut to this part where he goes to the stadium full of villagers that are gonna get killed and sh And I'm like, okay, so what's about to happen, bro? I'm gonna come all the way clean, bro. This man started mowing down the competition, literally, bro. Body parts is flying everywhere. Turn this into an Arby's commercial. We got the meats. He started roast beef in these 
is. I ain't gonna lie, bro. After this, though, we cut to this whole scene and he, he had Flair make this like magic. I don't even know what it is, like this like force field aura type joint. But anyways, it only kills the people with these jewels on. These jewels that they had on for protection. So they all start dying. This nigga spitting blood and looking That's like zombies funny. and shit. Uh -huh. Walking dead and shit. They throwing up and shit. That's I'm actually like, a good what is thing. going on? And then Flair makes this big projection. She's like, I am Princess Flair. These people are manipulating you and doing all these bad things. And everybody's like, hey, what you, La Milton? What you mean doing bad things? Like, bro, but they're like, I don't even believe this bitch. So she starts singing, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. She's hitting these motherfucking notes, bro. When I say she's hitting these octaves, they're Started hitting these motherfucking notes. He's like, I, I pray to God that that wasn't the character and that was him singing. I'm sorry. Oh, it's definitely her. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Then she makes this big ass meteor, this star in the sky, and everybody's like, oh my God, it's Flair. It's es Flair. After all of this happened, though. That ain't Flair. That's Escanor. I, I know Escanor when I see an Escanor. <laughs> Well, let me stop. Eskimo would not have any parts of this, okay? But every time I see like a sun like that, I just think of Eskimo from uh from Seven Deadly Sins, man. That's my right there. Well, guess what? Cheeks counter. These started fucking again, bro. He's twisting their nipples and all types of shit, bro. I'm like, oh my god, bro. Then this started talking about these gemstones they're like magical things that can like make weapons for the heroes only there's like ragnarok there's some big gun that the gun guy has i don't, I don't know the gun guy's name or whatever I, I keep forgetting him but it's the gun hero he got some big ass magic gun and, and the ragnarok is this big ass sword the sword hero has this is fantasizing about his revenge though looking in the fire seeing visions Motherfucker, uh, it reminded me of like the prisoner of azkaban you remember when harry was looking in the fire and what was his name sam black was it sam black i can't remember Siri it was serious why did i say sam nigga? who the fuck is that anyways you remember serious was talking to this nigga in the flames that's kind of how i felt bro this, this is imagining shit in his head and shit, looking in the flames i'm like bro this is different you remember the demon king from the beginning though so we ended up finding her in this little tavern yo so we're in this town at this point where like all of these demons and demi humans and all of this stuff they all live in harmony and we find the demon king just sitting at a table all willy-nilly and he exposes her ass he's like oh yeah by the way guys this bitch right here she's the demon king everybody's like what nigga spitting all these food and shit I'm, I'm confused too nigga. i'm like damn what did she just smoke y'all now at this point they're all like oh yeah this is off a of perk nigga. what kind of drugs is you want bro you must be drunk he's like nope i'm perfectly sober you look like the old demon king that i know at this point though something happened bro these nigga why you six nine in why you six nine in you know what six nine in th in this context will be taken as a why you snitching there you go minotaur niggas pull up niggas looking like they just came out of the chronicles of narnia i'm gonna come all the way clean bro these niggas come in here bro and start attacking niggas i'm like oh sh they've been plotting the whole time they punished her though i ain't gonna hold you she look up she's like help me and this starts smirking he's like eh, eh, eh. i'm about to manipulate her too because she needs my help they started punishing though he teleports behind him man use heal on this one bro this instantly blow up it look like a blood fire hydrant hit this he blood everywhere we find out this bitch name the demon king is eve reese by the way what kind of funny ass name is that eve reese are you me bro anyways they get to talking she's like i can't rely on a hero and then he starts manipulating and gaslighting this bitch she finally is like okay well let me sleep and think about it let me guess he 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 fucks her let me let me just guess guess what happens when she wakes up y'all i'll give you a second just guess cheeks counter she wakes up and he's cracking cheeks hitting flare and set sooner right in front of her i'm like oh my god oh okay he's doing the other girls my bad sorry not the other girl one girl and the evolved furry my bad God. Bro, she's like, I'm a grown up. I can do these grown up things if I want to. I just don't want to. And he's like, Oh, bet. He hops up out the bed, right? Walks over to her. And then you just see him hovering over. He's like, Prove it to me. You can't see his glizzy, but you see the shadow of this on her face. I'm like, Oh my God. What kind of show is this? <sighs> After this, bro, the next morning, they're eating at the table. They're making fun of her, calling her awkward and all types of shit. I'm like, Oh my God, bro. They're eating his food, though, and it's mad good. And, and Reese is like, This is great. And he's like, Yeah, it's only second to the other greatest thing in the world and she's like what and he's like sex and i'm like this is a cheat getting ass uh. so he ends up telling her that he wants the philosopher's stone and, 
and then uh, they had this whole back and forth where she's like stop being mean to me i told you i'm a grown-up and then she tells him about this god bird that she has this bird of diseases mother std adactyl this mother bro well, basically this bird can either create like disease and famine or take it away it's like a god and i'm like bro what is going on he's like oh we gotta go meet this bird bro i need this god bro she's like do you know what kind of trials we're gonna have to go through we're gonna have to go through the magic johnson trial okay that was too far that might have been too far but i ain't gonna lie bro i'm gonna leave it in Nigga. <laughs> I need some laughter during this one. I'm sorry, you guys. I need something to laugh at. Oh, it is what it is. But, but, but anyways, basically, I go through a whole bunch of disease trials. And he's like, nigga, I'm the healing hero. Like, what, what are you talking about? Like, hold up. Anyways, fast forward. Cheeks counter again. Nigga, they start cracking cheeks again, bro. This nigga Eve this time leaves the room, though. She's sitting outside with her nasty ass. Got the ears to the door. Eve's dropping. And she, she started playing with herself. I'm like, oh, my God. He's like, nope. It's only a matter of time before she comes in here. You feel me? <laughs> now, we fast forward. They're out and about. And the nigga, you remember the bullhorn nigga, the minotaur nigga? He runs up up on these niggas, bro and he's trying to like get revenge on this nigga. he's got this bull that he's on his he's like yelling at motherfucking cheeks ruga and all that and then we find out you know they end up sneaking up on these niggas and shit, right because they want revenge for them you know actually trying to fight him during the day when he was by himself and we find out that these niggas are called the mad cow tribe now i'm gonna be honest with you bro what kind of stupid ass name y'all niggas sound like a bad boy band like i'm gonna come all the way clean but anyways he throws that potion remember the potion that enrages people and makes them like want to fuck you and shit? he throws the potion at the bull that the minotaur was riding earlier and then the bull ends up grading this other bull great Grating this shit, bro and grates him to death bro i'm like oh my god <sighs> that shit is crazy bro anyways he ends up leaving these niggas in a hole and he's like i'm gonna come back in two weeks if you survive this big ass bull you feel me it's a premium beef right there first of all premium beef that's pause that's a violation you feel me <laughs> but he leaves him in a hole they dip off he's laughing and shit. they're like oh you're having fun you're having fun cheek sama bro i'm gonna start calling this cheek sama <laughs> bro that's all he do is get cheeks so then we fast forward they go to this like hotel room and they're trying to keep eve you know safe and he was like yo you only got one room can you at least take it easy and not be in the night bro literally it makes me uncomfortable and he's like nah we're gonna and soon it's gonna sound like a lullaby to you i'm like what do you mean by that so my said yeah we're gonna be making sweet love and that's gonna put you to sleep baby i'm like oh nah this it's different now the next morning i meet this dude carmen who was like this merchant and, and they fix some stats for him and make some potions for him they try and make some bread with him that's how they get their bread up you feel me he be using his alchemy get his bread up you feel me i ain't mad at it but hawkeye pulls up and i'm like first off this name is hawkeye is me hawk here and it kind of look like me hawk too dry. his name is hawkeye the f from the avenger oh my god I should like him all debutante ball looking ass nigga, old oh, fancy beauty and the beast looking ass nigga. like hey my you don't get your fake ass zoro when i ain't talking about zoro from uh one piece i'm talking about zoro with the rapier you don't get your fake fancy dressing ass up bro my look like he a captain of a boat and shit. i ain't gonna lie and also you know what i'm saying the blade heroes here the sword hero this next part is disturbing bro so we find out that this sword hero is bill cosby bro and y'all know what bill cosby did right and got convicted for oh yeah the sword hero has been doing this right in this house you know in some room i don't know where the the room is she's doing it at but she's been going to a bar and basically drugging people now uh, she's been doing this to people and basically grading them and their parents are finding out some of them she's basically destroying people's mental health bro by grading them over and over again these different people bro at one point she started naming naming names of the people she's doing it to and name like four names back to back trying to find out whose dad was attacking her <sighs> it's crazy bro but anyways chief sama takes this as an excuse and as a reason to set the blade hero up bro then we get another <sighs> cheat counter bro this man just keeps cracking everybody at this point when he's doing it though eve is under the sheets she playing with herself under the sheets while he's doing it i'm like bro this is different now we came up with the no, idea of cross-dressing for the cause bro this man done turned into a, a whole you know trans right person you feel me to, to to do what he need to do bro and there's nothing wrong with, with trans you feel me lgbtq and all that i don't have no problem with all you feel me i respect and love everybody here on my channel you feel me but this man was like i'm about to cross-dress and i'm like okay let's get it so he on the way there yo and he kind of looking good so these gangsters run into him i ain't gonna lie i don't know why they put this scene here but he just beat some gangsters up that was trying to grade him bro i mean it is what it is now later on after we go to the bar we ended up getting bill cosby by the blade hero and we're on our way to her room and of course you know we have a drug resistance so we're just playing it off and we run into my ruler's dad they start fighting he gets knocked out on the 
and then we start fighting the blade hero bro but the ragnarok is too powerful this sword makes you like super physically strong but also just heals you instantly it just makes you really hard to beat when you're holding this sword you're probably not gonna lose bro this is the first time i see my man chisama on the rope so we had to play the maiden in distress you feel me he had to like oh no you got me so we end up going back to the room yo and at this point you know chisama's tied up to the bed <sighs> she starts trying to great chisama bro and she gets to her panties she reaches into this man panties bro and there's a i'm like oh my god bro so he finds out at this point this is a man as this has happened she's throwing up and vomiting she's disgusted he's like you seduced the man you've kissed the man <laughs> and then he poisons her and puts her to sleep you remember those barbarians i told you he would like throw the potions at and then they would grate people or they would eat them as soon as they got tired of grating them <sighs> Well, we're going to play a game again, just like we did with Flair. But this time, she had to satisfy them long enough for them not to eat her. And when I tell you they graded this woman, bro, it was three of them, bro. It was a gang great, bro. They did her dirty. They violated her. While this man was eating steak, watching it. This is literally one of the most Black Air Force characters in the anime spectrum. This don't make you Black Air Force. Okay, you know what? I'm not the... I am not the creator of black air forces let me just let me just put that out there i'm not the creator of it but literally this this just gives me like bruh like you just got a sick behind fantasy and you just made everybody watch it like bro this is disgusting bro like i we need a new shoe for this bro I, i'm gonna come all the way clean bro so of course she failed and got eight bro they did her like a, a three course meal oh my god bro this is crazy bro but hey, 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 hey this paralyzed her legs and all of that bro anyway fast forward yo cheeks ruga goes to talk to my man carmen at, at the little shop you feel me and he gets his bread now hawkeye pulls right up on us we don't even feel this this presence bro i'm gonna come all the way clean bro like 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 like, like this 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 crazy bro like we knew that we couldn't even beat this we're like oh we can't beat this dude i don't know what's up with him bro something up with this nigga, though i can't even i i, I can't with this nigga. i'm physically stronger than him but 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 mihawk is not playing this nigga got advanced conquerors what one thing that this hawkeye did not plan for is that we're going to get some ultimate ass armor from this gemstone because we killed the sword hero oh, 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 oh my god this armor is broken so norm pulls up after all this happens bro she starts gaslighting everybody like oh demons are taking over so we're gonna have to kill all the demons and then humans were sticking up for the you know the demons because the kingdom wasn't helping them at all so norn is like oh i guess y'all are brainwashed oh my god i guess we have to kill y'all too and then they start <laughs> slaughtering everybody i <laughs> mean chief was not staying up for that bro this man cheeks started clapping cheeks bro because the way that he teleported in and started slicing these niggas up even flair made the projection join again and started talking everybody out of everything at this point he runs up on hawkeye and he's like well norn you know i'm here and i'm about to run up and i'm about to clap your cheeks and his cheeks they start scrapping bro i ain't gonna lie he ends up poisoning this cheeks ruger right but this armor has an auto heal feature so if it's not an insta kill you can't kill him he also has this thing called deteriorating heal he doesn't even have to touch you you just have to be around him to die this hawkeye dodged this and he's like oh as long as i don't get hit and then he exploded this eyeball flew across the room i said oh my god bro i ain't gonna lie he made hawkeye look like the airhead in the commercial right before it's about to explode he did him dirty so he ends up grabbing norn and he chains her up yo starts smacking the shit out of her i mean Mickey. she starts talking shut up bitch. smack smacks her again i'm like oh my god she started begging please please so he chokes her to death and then she lets go and she catches her breath and she's not dead but, 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 but you know what i meant but then this nigga did the most vile thing in this show bro he yes. had flair norn's sister come in here as a puppy as a dog on a leash and he started making flair her sister he's like oh we're gonna play a game if you can't come by the morning then i'll let you go and then she comes instantly to her sister i don't know who's more real here norn or flair i'm like i don't know if i can just blame this one on biology bro because i know if my brother was trying to have sex with me i'm not with that bro there ain't no way in the world will we even having this conversation right now like I'm gonna be with that. This motherfucker Norm was enjoying it. I'm like, oh nah, bro. And then he started 
Flair as Norn watched. And after that, he grates Norn. I'm like, oh my God. He made both of them come, bro. They wake up, bro. And then he erased this in Norn's memory and made Norn his little sister. Now, first off, how are you gonna have your little sister be a part of group sex with you, bro? It's your sister. Oh my God. This is disgusting, bro. I I'm gonna come all the way clean, bro. The next day after all this happens, What's Correa comes going? back. He starts hitting Correa and then Cheeks counter times four because he has a foursome with Correa, Flair, Setsuna, and Norn. This that made a harem right before our eyes, bro. He even bought a new Raptor for him and the Raptors started like loving on each other. I'm like, everybody getting a love, ain't they? <sighs> and then this ends, man, with him visiting Carmen's grave. Well, I thought it ended there, but then we saw the gun hero humping wanted posters of Cheeks, Ruga, and then he nutted on a wanted poster. This is down bad, bro. Somebody needs to help this bro. I, uh... Anyways, his revenge isn't done. Uh, after this, he's talking about, I guess, what's going to happen in season two of him continuing his revenge nope. against the gun hero. But uh, but that's pretty much the whole nope. thing. Uh, redo a heal. That's pretty much the premise. Nope. As you can understand, I mean, it was nope. okay. With, like, besides all of the demonic stuff that happened, I mean, it was an interesting revenge plot line. I mean, oh, no, no, no. Shut the hell. No, no. No, 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 I ain't got nothing else to say. Um, I ain't got nothing else to say, you guys. Um, I know in my first review of Redo of a Healer, I was like, this is giving me I Spit on Your Graves vibes. But that only went on for like, I think that video was like maybe 10 minutes tops. And it didn't go into the grave detail. I am so sorry to I Spit on Your Grave. That this, this is not I Spit on Your Grave. This isn't a revenge plot for me. This is literally like, I have a sick fantasy and I want to get it out, but I have to do some really effed up stuff to this character in the first place to justify the rest of it. I ain't down with this dog. This ain't me. I gotta refilm the intro because the intro had me looking really light and everything else. And I don't do trigger warnings on my stuff, but I really feel like I got to. Cause if you ain't down with this, bruh, you gonna feel weird about it. And I'm I'm gonna put it out there. Um, support the original content creator. You ain't gotta share this video from me, bruh. Um, this just seemed just overkill, stupid, pointless, like some weird person's fantasy of just, just bullshit, just a cacophony of just insecurities and and everything else you make yourself godlike you make you make your semen heal people and you make sex give you an upper level bro just call this hentai and call it a fucking day all right bro i would say leave your suggestions down below but i'm going back to rdc okay i'm going to go back to rdc world okay rdc world it's going to be coming up next. Anime rap battles are going to be coming up next. Because I need to clear my fucking mind. But it's bullshit. I don't know what the fuck this is. But I, I, don't want, I, don't want, I don't want it in my life no more. And so I'm just going to put it out like that. All right. Well, this is your girl Shay Too Sweet. And I ain't going to. No. I ain't going to put my grandma on this. And like I always say. So long. <laughs>